Hey y'all, it's Natalie for A Cherry on Top, and today I'm bringing you another Halloween layout. I'm using this cute new stamp set from Tim Holtz for Stampers Anonymous, and it's called Spooky Spirits. And I'm going to use it in a couple of different ways on my page. I'm using these four photos of my kid on Halloween, and I'm just measuring a couple of them behind the Spooky Spirits stamps, because I'm going to use some vellum paper to kind of make him a ghost. I'm going to do some heat embossing as well. So I am taking a few of the ghosts and I'm inking them up with some clear embossing ink and putting them on top of this vellum, which um, it is like slow drying ink. And then I'm going to use some nice black embossing powder. This one is from Nuvo and it's very nice. And I'm just going to show my ghost. Look, oh gosh, look, I have a haunted stamp. They don't have mouths on them, but that one got a mouth on it. It's haunted. Isn't that lucky <laughs> to get a, to get a ghost stamp that ends up being haunted? Now here's my little tip. So I am going to use a dry paintbrush to remove any embossing powder from the spaces. I don't want it, but I'm not going to remove that mouth because I know better than that mess with that. But a pro tip for doing embossing on vellum is to heat it from the back side. It's very thin and delicate and you don't want to hold the heat gun on it for very long, but it will um, heat up very nicely from the wrong side of the page. So that's what you see me doing here. So I'm just zapping it really quickly and making sure to get all of the lines nice and heated. And it's just a lovely little gloss finish. It won't, um, sometimes if you overheat it, the, the embossing powder will kind of melt funny and kind of lose its pretty shine. And so doing it from the back side like this will um, prevent that from happening. So I'm not a big fussy cutter, but this die set doesn't, or I'm sorry, this stamp set does not have matching dies. So I did um, commit to fussy cutting it. However, I will say they're very easy to fussy cut. They're not very fussy. So um, easy to do here. And so that was fun. I just kind of went all the way around not quite up to the edge and they cut out really nicely from this nice smooth vellum paper. And I did five ghosts because um, an odd number is always pleasing to the eye. <clears throat> and I don't know, I'm just messing around trying to see which ones I'm going to put over the photos, not that it really matters. Now I am using the Creep in It Real collection um, by Photo Play. And that's one of their new Halloween collections this year. And I have this nice beige colored background paper because it's kind of got a beige vibe to it. Um, some the whites in the collection are really beigey, off white. So I also got these cut files from the Cherry on Top store. They have cut files. They're really affordable. And this one has a bunch of different webs, but I only um, cut out this one. Uh, I think I did three different ones. And then I'm going to put the vellum paper behind that as well. So we're repeating elements. And again, another element that is in odd numbers. So I'm just going to trim around the edges of those um, after I apply the vellum. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm using my new Nuvo um, fine tip um, tip on the bottle. I just got it and it, it's really nice. I like it. It, does, it allows not very much glue to come out. And so, um, I think it will let it last a while and then it's not going to allow it to dry out or gunk up the top of the bottle. Like is a problem that I have had in the past. Um, so I'm just going to rough up the edges of the white card stock here and, um, then kind of place it on top of that black one. I just wanted a nice black border. And then we're going to place it wonky on this striped background. This one, this paper is called Batty or Going Batty, I think. Um, and then we're going to kind of figure out how we want to configure everything. So um, it's time to trim down the photos. So again, these are about two by three inches. And um, I have two where he's in full costume and he's very theatrical about it. And then two where I made him remove his mask. And so the two where his face is showing are going to be the ones that I kind of cover up with the ghost stamps. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I want to put everything on the page right now. Um, but I do decide to go ahead and trim down the photos to sit exactly behind the stamp because um, I wanted to see where I wanted to put them on the page. So I trimmed, I just kind of held it onto the, the photo and trimmed all the way around it, fussy cut again. And um, that worked really well. So that one, I went with the one that um, 
the wider arms of the spirit kind of go outside the two by three, but you can't even tell, like once I put it down, you can't even tell that there's like a white line, um, from the board of the photos. So I'm going to do, I decided to do like three little clusters on the background page with the, um, three sets of photos and then embellish around them. So once I figured out where I wanted them, now I'm going to put the spirits on the background of the page. And so again, this is the repeating element to help bring cohesion between the background of the page and the rest of my paper. So I'm using that same embossing ink on the background. I'm just going to put a spirit in each cluster. And then I'm going to use some clear embossing powder and um, set those little stamps on the background as well. And so it'll be really subtle. It's actually a little bit difficult to photograph, but you can see them in a few of the photographs on the uh, Cherry on Top blog today. But they're just like another little uh, spooky spirit floating in the background there. And then I'm going to do some black stamping on each of the clusters as well. And then it will resist where the black ink gets anywhere on top of these embossed images and I can just wipe it away. So now it's time to commit. We're going to stick the, um, off white paper down to the black bordered paper here. And then we're going to kind of put it on the striped paper, a little bit wonky and start sticking things down. Actually, I don't think I did fully adhere it down, but um, I just put a couple of dots of glue right behind the ghost's eyes. It just took a little bit, and actually it's really cool um, if it wasn't going in a page protector, it allowed the, the vellum to kind of lift up, and so it's kind of like they're floating. So if you did want to do a photo behind one of these and kind of, oh my gosh, how cute would it be if you like put it on a little piece of like mm, fishing line or something, and then you could like, put them as just embellishments, hanging them around the house, or you can put them on like a tree. Like if you have a Halloween tree or something, oh my God, that would be so cute. Definitely. Oh, I might be doing that soon. <laughs> That's such a cute idea. Um, so I am, what a minute. Oh, I laid the clusters back out so that I know exactly where I want to stamp. So I just pulled a couple of pattern stamps out of my stamp set. And I'm not even using a block here because I didn't want the hard edges. I wanted just like a very organic um, inside kind of of that thing. And then I'm just clustering everything around. And it's textured cardstock. So I'm not getting clear, crisp images, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I picked a, a couple of stems off of this like, I don't know, a flowery set, but they kind of looked like, um, I don't know, a little bit of a romantic, uh, old vibe, um, which I thought would be cool. And then of course my new favorite circular stamps, this is the Cirque Trio from All In Create. Um, I'll link those down below for sure, because if they're still in stock, these are a great little value. And I think that they're a really good mixed media element if, but you can control it, which I really like. And you can just do parts of the stamp and you can rotate them all around. And I picked another leaf there. And then we think, oh, and a bat. I'm finishing it off with a bat. Just about a few areas around um, just to add to the spooky, right? Um, and now we're going to commit. We're going to stick down our spider webs and our photo. I did back the photos in the other two photos in the black cardstock. So they pop really nicely off of the spider webs and loving it loving it um oh i th these are really old don't get excited these are no longer in the store but um these are like some really old thickers from american crafts and this one says happy haunting which i thought was really perfect for this layout i don't know i don't even know what he was he's i think he was like a blue grim reaper or something but um just something scary on halloween um I am on the Atreri on Top vlog today, so go check me out. I hope it looks good. It was my first time posting my own blog post. They just got a new blog and everything looks amazing. So um, check me out over there on that blog and you can see all the up close detailed photos and a few other like tips and tricks for um, using your stamps on a layout in multiple ways. I, I, I mm, mm, put that down in the wrong place. So um, I'm just moving it down a little bit and you'll never know because like any place where the paper might have pulled up a little bit, I'm going to be covering that up with my photo. Um, but the cluster was just not exactly right. So I wanted to place it somewhere else. I'm using my tearaway tape to um, stick the ghost down. I'm just putting it in a couple of places, kind of lining it up with their black embossing lines. But to be honest with you, um, it's pretty transparent. Like you can't see it really. If you're looking hard, you might be able to, but I just tried to put it on the lines of the um, stamp 
embossing areas and you can't really see it. So they stuck down really nicely. And now I am using my newly fine tipped Nuvo adhesive to add additional adhesive onto the back of the happy haunting title and just kind of overlapping it with the ghosts in that one cluster because um, kind of letting everything kiss and touch and, and group together like that is really nice and pleasing to the eye. And it almost kind of joins those two um, clusters a little bit. And we are gonna finish this off with adding to our stamp clusters just a little bit. There was a bunch of sentiments with this Spooky Spirits stamp set. So I just picked one sentiment for each one. Hey boo, foolish mortals, and uh, I feel wicked. And those are all very good for Lachlan. And I just kind of multi-time stamped them to kind of go with the distressed vibe. I added the number 31 down there because it was on Halloween. And now we're just going to end it with uh, some black splatter with that same black set distress ink. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to link down below with all of these items that are still in stock at a cherry on top. Hopefully you can go grab the spooky spirit stamp set because I really love it and I highly recommend it. And ghosts are cool and you can totally use these for things outside of Halloween. Maybe I'll try that. If anybody's interested, let me know if you need some inspiration for the Spooky Spirit stamp set outside of Halloween. Maybe that's something I can try to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check me out on the Cherry Dot on Top blog. I'll link that down below as well. And let me know if you have any questions. Bye, y'all.